Thousands of Afghans came to the street in the capital Kabul on Tuesday, condemning the recent U.S. decision regarding the frozen Afghan assets as unjust and open stealing, and calling on Washington to return the assets of more than 9 billion U.S. dollars to the war-torn country. The demonstration march started from the main money exchange market Sarai Shahzada and ended peacefully in front of the United Nations Assistance Mission in Afghanistan office. The demonstrators demanded the return without any condition of all the assets of the Afghan Central Bank, that have been frozen by the United States following the Taliban's takeover of the Central Asian country in mid-August 2021. The protest came in response to an executive order signed recently by U.S. President Joe Biden for diverting 3.5 billion U.S. dollars from the frozen Afghan assets to the families of September 11th terror attacks victims. At the end of the demonstration, the protesters issued a declaration terming the U.S. decision as a breach of international law and vowed to continue the protest until its revocation. <laughs> The U.S. freezing of the Afghan Central Bank's assets is widely seen as the primary factor leading to the current economic crisis and humanitarian disaster in the war-torn country of some 39 million people. Deputy spokesman of the Taliban-led administration Anamala Samangani and former Afghan President Hamid Karzai have both recently denounced Biden's decision as unjust and demanded the return of the frozen assets to Afghanistan.